¿Cómo te va? Bien, ¿y tú? Bien. ¿Cómo te fue en la escuela? Bien, ahí está el correo. ¿Quieres tomar algo? Ok, una salida. Vamos. Vamos. Bienvenidos a la hora hispanoamericana. Our next program is in Spanish. Hola, les saludan Geronia Vidal y Emilia Bresciani. Con un nuevo espacio de comunicación y desarrollo. Programa que se transmite desde 2DA, la emisora multicultural de Sydney. Comunicación y desarrollo. <tose> Montevideo, 8th of August, 1983. Dear Gloria, I write to you to give you the news that Rita Ibarburu has been transferred to the military hospital. These eight long years in the Punta Rieles prison have damaged her health. Hola, mamá, ¿cómo estás? ¿Cómo te va, Cristina? Bien. ¿Qué novedades hay? Mira, recibí esta carta de ella. There is an international appeal underway for her release, and we ask you to organize, together with the Uruguayan women in Australia, a solidarity campaign. Pobre Rita, tenemos que escribirle inmediatamente. Carta abierta a Rita Ibarburu, Dirección Penal de Punta de Rieles, Montevideo, Uruguay. Querida Rita, te escribo estas líneas desde esta lejana Australia. Hoy te recuerdo cómo te conocí en el año 1936, cuando llegaste a Casa de España a trabajar por la solidaridad de la República Española. ¿Cuántos años han pasado desde entonces? Allí empezó tu trabajo revolucionario. That is where your revolutionary work began, alongside those Uruguayan women who supported the Spanish Republic. Julia, María Cristina, Juanita, Rosita, and so many others who rallied to the cause day by day. Luego vino la Then, Mundial, the Second World War broke out, and we continued working for solidarity with the Allied forces. So many women suffered, fought and died in that war. Years later, after the triumph of life over millions of dead, I went to Berlin and visited the Ravensbrück concentration camp where 90,000 women were murdered by the Nazis. As I walked around, treading on the ashes of those women cremated in the ovens, I swore to always fight against fascism and for women's rights, wherever I may be. That was when we formed the Uruguayan Women's League, of which I was president for so many years. Who could have imagined that in 1973 a military dictatorship would be installed in our democratic Uruguay? You were imprisoned in an attempt to suppress your inspiring work as a journalist. So many of our comrades are now exiled, imprisoned, disappeared or dead. Selva, Maria, Leonor, Norma, Nivia. All over the world, women protest for the release of political prisoners. Among those prisoners, you have become a symbol of courage and dignity. And you still inspire those who offer heroic resistance in the face of brutal repression. Today, as I write these words that you may never read, I put a red rose over my heart and cry with all my strength, liberate Rita, our friend, our companion, our comrade.
¿Qué les parece? Está bien. Sí, muy bien. Muy bien. Bueno, compañeras, estamos reunidas porque he recibido una carta desde el Uruguay donde me explican la situación difícil por la que está pasando Rita Ibarburu. Está presa, ustedes ya saben, pero ha pasado al hospital militar y su salud está muy deteriorada. Así que pienso que nosotras aquí debemos de hacer algo para ayudar a su liberación. Podemos reunir a todas las mujeres, hacer un acto. Podemos pedirle a Gabriela que cante tu canción, Gloria. La vidalita de las mujeres presas. Podríamos pedirle a Janet McHugh que nos apoye y escriba cartas a la cárcel y al gobierno uruguayo. Acabo de terminar esta bandera para la unión de mujeres. ¿Les gusta? Muy bien. Muy linda. Te pasaste. Qué linda que está. La podríamos usar para las reuniones y para la marcha. Bueno, compañeras. Entonces yo hablo con Janet y ustedes se ocupan de la comida y del local. En Australia, nosotros estamos In Australia, we write letters to politicians, church groups, unions and Amnesty International who have always cooperated with us. Gloria Cavalle, from Latin American Women. I need one appointment with Mrs. Janet McHugh. We organize a group of Uruguayan women to work specifically for the release of women prisoners in Uruguay. This is not because we want to be separate, but because we believe our work is more effective this way. Women, as usual, are discriminated against even in solidarity work. People remember to mention important male prisoners, but they forget to mention how women suffer in prison. Those women are also mothers, and we want to help their economic situation by sending money to their families. Si la gente sabe más bien como tú quieras recantar el texto a tu vida. Todo la ríe, vida maldita. Encierra mujeres, vida maldita, que son tan. para iniciar las Jornadas de Solidaridad para la Liberación de Rita Ibarburu. Quiero decirles que Rita Ibarburu es una periodista uruguaya de 68 años de edad que ha sido bárbaramente torturada en el penal de Punta de Rieles. Hoy sabemos que ha sido pasada al hospital militar, pues su situación es muy grave. Le pido a todas las compañeras aquí presentes que nos ayuden a unirnos a todas las jornadas que se realizan en todo el mundo por su liberación. Muchas gracias. Thank you. I'm here tonight representing the very many Australian women who want to give their support to you, Gloria, and the Union of Latin American Women in their struggle to help your sisters and my sisters in the countries of Latin America who are fighting for their very lives and their freedom. Particularly now, we're hoping that Rita Ibaburu soon will be freed.
from being in prison just for her beliefs. We give you all our support and wish you every success. The 500,000 Uruguayans who live outside the country must find a way of defeating the dictatorship. In Punta Rieles, there are still 160 prisoners, 43 gravely ill. The military continue to repress women because they know that we are indestructible. When a woman joins the struggle, they cannot defeat her except with death. In Uruguay, people began to feel liberated, to take to the streets, enthusiastically, calling for a total amnesty. Rita Ibarburu was freed in November 1983. In February 84, she travelled to Europe to be reunited with her exiled husband. Like Gloria Caballé, she campaigns continuously for the release of her fellow prisoners. Many other women, men and even children remain unaccounted for, disappeared, or imprisoned in Latin America. Thank you. 